Hi there guys, welcome back, it is FoxyDo98 here and welcome to today's FIFA 15 Ultimate Team Squad build if you guys are on my channel. Today is going to be sort of like a reminiscent of the 300k squad builder that I did a while ago before Price Rangers was introduced when I had the likes of Lukaku, Kevin De Bruyne and Man of the Match Atsu and a lot, lot more. Now what I've decided to do in today's video is I've gone and recreated that team but I've made a couple of changes into there and because it was so destructive on the Xbox 360, I really wanted to find out if this team was actually destructive on Xbox One and if I could possibly win a game or not. So let's get straight into the team then. We're not going to waste any time. So first in goals is going to be Hugo Lloris. One of the goalkeepers that I actually think is doing is good on this game. Like if, when you hopefully when it comes when you'll see the clips later on, there may be I just want to basically say that goalkeepers are terrible, so this is why I picked Lloris, because I just need to pick a good goalkeeper that can actually save shots, unlike uh, some other people. First centre-back, Laurent Koscielny, my favourite centre-back in the game. Medium-high work rates, with 82 pace, 84 defending, and 77 physical. Not the best physical, but he's still absolutely amazing. Probably one of my, as I said, favourite centre-back on the game. Probably closely matched by Jerome Boateng as well. But I wanted to try this guy out, upgraded Naldo. He is... what. He's got high medium stats to first off with. If that was FIFA 14, I would have said don't bother. This is FIFA 15. FIFA 15 is different. Now, he's similar to Kashani. He's got 73 pace. He's got 83 defending. And he's got 75 physical. So he's really, really good. And he's 6 foot 6. You cannot possibly attempt to do a chip through ball past Naldo without him clearing it with his big black head. Because he's 6 foot 6. And you're not going to stop that. Jesus, man. This team's sweaty as hell. But anyway, right back when we were Lucas Pizcek. Again, my favourite right back on the game. I'm choosing my favourite players. 81 pace, 80 defending and 82 physical um, currently at the moment. You've got high high work rates again, 6 foot tall. He's an absolute beast on this game. And mm, my favourite left back. Oh, who would have thought they'd be my favourite? But anyway, guys, we're going to go with Gal Kalishi here with 85 pace, 80 defending. And it says he has 68 physical, but he's very, very strong and consistent when it comes to working at left back spot. With high medium work rates and he's left footed. It's kind of the stats I really wanted to see on Gal Kalishi. Next up then is going to be a midfield that you'll remember very well from my squad builder that I did a while ago. That's going to be Cesc Fabregas and also Luis Gustavo. You remember these two apart from they're on the other side. I brought them back into the team because I wanted to try and see how they'd work on Xbox One. Would they work any different or would they be absolutely horrendous? But again, um, Luis Gustavo is here for chemistry reasons as I needed someone to link up with Naldo for that spot. And because they're both Brazilian as well, they get... a what I'm going to call it as a, like a hyperlink, so they will be able to counteract to the two red links here, and they've also got an orange link, so that will make sure that Naldo is perfectly safe in that spot. Oops, on you. Next up then is going to be Kevin De Bruyne, which is the guy that I used also in my previous squad builder. He has got 81 pace, 87 shot, 88 passing, 87 dribbling. Now, I would love to have gone and picked up Man of the Match De Bruyne, but number one, it's solid to get him, and number two, it's very expensive, and I didn't quite have the coins to do this with the front three that I've got. Now, the front three is actually, let me go for the front three then. So the first player is the same, that is going to be Romelu Lukaku. Now, I am going to be attempting to do a squad builder with his Man of the Match card, but again, didn't have enough. Actually, how many coins have I got? Hmm, I've got 102. How much is Lukaku? Anyway, I know, actually, no, he's 111k, so never mind. Never mind about that. We got Lukaku in that striker spot. I've always loved him on Xbox 360. Hopefully, again, next gen, because next gen for me is so much more different to the 360 version. And uh, hopefully, he can prove to be an absolute beast. Right wing is not Raheem Sterling, so you can get lost. It is Blaszczykowski, who is going to be into the team with medium, medium work rates. 87 pace, 74 shooting, 79 passing, 83 dribbling. Also, 72 physical, so he's pretty strong as well. Three-star weak foot, four-star skills. Wrong way round. Swap that around. Four star weak foot, three star skill. He can link up perfectly with Pizzek, get the orange link with Gustavo, and then he doesn't get a single link with Lukaku, but that's fine. And then the one final player in the team is going to be Eden Hazard. He is the player that I've wanted to try out. Now, I'm a retard because Hazard's going for 121k. I accidentally bought him for 180k because I just wanted to buy one so badly. So that's what you get for not paying attention. And I basically just lost down like 59k, but. Oh well, I want I wanted to try out Hazard. I want to try out as many people as possible, but I hope you guys enjoyed this video. This squad overall, if I can just cry and calculate it from the back of my own mind, it's going to probably cost you around about 300k in total to go and purchase off this team. If you take out Hazard, I'd say 250. So yeah, just pretending on prices, I'm going to say uh, 200, 200k, I'd say, at this moment in time with everyone's prices as they are. 1, 2, 1. 
121141. I'll say 250k for you guys if you want to go and purchase this team. So, what happens in my squad builders if you haven't actually seen any of my squads before? I'm now going to show you some clips of or some goals that I managed to score with this team and I'm going to be playing a set of games. I'll then come back to this team and I'll do a review on it at the end. Tell you who she recommend, who not to recommend. And yeah, that's how it's going to go. So, I hope you guys enjoyed these clips and I'll be back with you in just a second. Right then guys, so what you can see on the screen right now is going to be the opponents I came up against and the goals that I scored. I have actually skipped out uh, in the final game. I won the game 5-1, I just wanted to say that, but unfortunately I didn't manage to get two of the goals because they were both tramp goals. Let's just be honest, I'm just going to say it straight up, they were tramp goals. But anyway, we start things off with Blaszczykowski here, finessing in a great shot and then Kevin De Bruyne running past this guy's defence and just smashing it in and Tim Howard thought nothing about it. I'm not even going to save this shot. Because I don't want to, and I'm a goalkeeper, and I am programmed from EA to be a pile of crap. But this team overall, hang on, bang, swerve, goal. I absolutely love that shot from Kevin De Bruyne. And that's one thing I loved about De Bruyne. You want long shots? Get second in form De Bruyne. If you don't want long shots, get second in form De Bruyne. Here we go, then a nice good ball in from Hazard to slot it into the back of the net. Now, everyone in this team had some sort of contribution. Now, some obviously not as much as others, like Gustavo probably was one that I pointed out. He didn't really do well. Now, this guy just stopped playing for a second, so um, I just messed around and uh, nicked the ball and, and scored. So, yeah, that was a bit of a weird one. I uh, don't know what he was doing, but, uh, yeah, that's, uh, that's what he was doing. Next up, then, is going to be this guy here with a decent-looking team with Doombia, Ababa, and Shola. I was a bit worried about this one. Because, obviously, of how it was played. Um, yeah, but I managed to actually win the tournament with this game. Now, I was in the quarterfinals, and then I just decided to start doing this as we hit the post and went in. And then I decided just I'll fin try and finish off this tournament. Because what I was originally going to do was I was going to do a cup run video. Um, but then I had the squad, and I won the first game, and I thought, screw it. So I went back over the footage that I just captured of that game. Saved it all and then I've gone and collected the goals and I'm going to do it into a squad builder Which is what I'm doing right now. So it's kind of gone from a cup run to a, uh, a thing now Look at this chest it down touch pass down Louise bang shot goal be you Ball I absolutely adore Kevin De Bruyne his long shots are insane He's hit the bar about five times when I was playing them scoring these long shots just touches it down and just lets it bang right into the top left hand corner that keeper, all he can do there is just stand up, not look for it, uh, not even attempt to save it. Good head of Hazard, by the way. I don't know how he did he manage to get up that high. But yeah, the keeper for De Bruyne's long shot should have just stood there and just waited till he could pick the ball out the back of the net because there was no point in him even trying, to be honest. But it was absolutely amazing. This guy was my toughest opponent because with his team with Suarez, Neymar and Lucas, mainly because as we managed to, we actually equalised it with Gal Clichy. Now, he was an absolute skilling idiot right I hated him he was constantly doing skills on me but um, at the end of the game here you can see the 85th minute Neymar actually got sent off a good little run from Blaszkowski and a brilliant finesse actually I kind of messed it up to start with but a brilliant finesse into the bottom uh, into the top left hand corner giving the keeper no chance to actually even attempt to stop that one I was really impressed when that actually went in and that did actually lead me to win the cup here now I thought I actually had one more round left to go um, but uh, I didn't. I won the cup, and yeah, this is all my players celebrating. I thought I put it in because no one ever sees me winning cups. But anyway, as you can see, that we go on to what's going to be the final game of this episode. It is with Drogba, Vargas, and Tarat up front. So a decent looking team, but we start things off again. De Bruyne, a beautiful goal. Now, the first goal, I just realised because it's gone to 2 0 here, was the first goal the guy just wasn't playing, and I just tackled him and scored. So I thought that's no point in including that one. It's 3 0 here from Roman Lukaku. Now, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to leave it a like rating. Also, this game did finish 5-1, but the fifth goal was a tramp goal, so I decided not to put it in because it was just a little bit stupid. But yeah, here was the thing, a random mess up there and a tramp goal there. But I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I'll speak to you in just a second. Okay then guys, we are back here with the final squad review for this entire team then. So let's get straight into the squad. Hugo Lloris in goals was probably one of the best goalkeepers I've used on the game so far this year. He made some really, really good and amazing saves throughout the entire get throughout the uh, four games that I played with this team. And he was an absolute legend throughout. He was so good and he kept me in the game so many times. Centre-backs Kashani and Naldo both got so heavily involved in the game. It was amazing. Great pace, great strength, great physical attributes. And with Naldo being six foot six, he was such a big bonus. Because again, like I said at the start of this video, as soon as I said I picked Naldo for a reason, it's because of his six foot six ability. And everyone tried to over the top through ball me. And they couldn't do it because Naldo would easily beat them to the headers. 
Pizczek and Kalishi. Kalishi made a bit more of an impact than Pizczek did, but not as much. Kalishi did actually manage to grab myself a goal. I don't think Pizczek managed to contribute at all, but that's not an actual issue. That's not really what they're meant to be doing in the first place. He got They got at the pitch when they needed to, Pizczek and Kalishi. They dropped back when they know they needed to get back and defend for their lives. So they were absolutely amazing in the positions that they were in. Next up then is going to be Luis Gustavo and Cesc Fabregas. Two midfielders that I said were questionable in the, pre in the previous time that I used them in a squad builder together. And they were kind of a bit the same again. Fabregas did manage to grab himself two assists in the four games, but Gustavo didn't really do anything. If you could try and find someone that um, possibly maybe could link up to De Bruyne, I'm just trying to think of any other midfielders. I can't really think of it off the top of my head. But if you can think of any, then um, I would probably maybe try. But Gustavo is decent, man. I mean, he gets the job. He just gets... He'll get the job done. He'll stay in that centre of midfield. He'll He's strong. So he's not the fastest of people, but he is strong. He'll get at the pitch. He'll help you out. And because he's tall as well, it's going to be hard to get him off the ball. So I still do like him in that position. Next up is going to be Kevin De Bruyne. Four games, five goals, one assist. By far the best uh, player in this whole team. Especially because of those two absolutely banging long shots that he scored for me. They were absolutely amazing and I couldn't re any recommend De Bruyne anymore. Next up is going to be Blaszczykowski and Eden Hazard. Now in my personal opinion, and it shows from the stats, Blaszczykowski was more fun than Eden Hazard was. It's a bit weird that I said that, but I did. It's just true. So if we look at Eden Hazard's stats here, um, we managed to get four goals and uh, four games. Sorry, two is goals scored. So I need to say that again because I can't even talk. Four games played, two goals for Eden Hazard. As for Blaszczykowski, four games played, five goals and two assists. He was just better on that mid right mid spot, and I haven't actually used Blaszczykowski this year, and I think I'll continue to use him because he was fun. Finally, then we're going to be going to Lukaku, who was probably the most contributional player out of them all, but not my favourite. But still, Blaszczykowski played four games for me, got three goals and eight assists. He is a playmaker, and I I kind of did enjoy that. Like, I liked him being a playmaker, and the only...